for so many years we told students they had to go to college and I think we finally realized that teenagers don't like it necessarily no. when you tell them what to do and the whole concept behind Generation Texas is to create that peer-based network where students can help under, other students understand that it's cool to go to college and that it offers you opportunities and parents can link with other parents. So it's really meant to be joining people and providing a culture of college going as opposed to just a campaign telling students to go to college. I think the other thing we learned too, and that's a key point, uh, Susan, because many students don't want to go to college. They want to choose a career technical field. And our message is not that you have to have a four-year degree. Our message is that everyone out of high school or after high school really needs to pur pursue some type of formal training. And it doesn't have to be a four-year degree, but we know that this is a different world we live in. And for students to be able to enter that workforce, they need skills beyond the high school level. And that's the message. And you're right, it's a peer relationship. And it's other students saying, you know, this isn't so bad. You know, they're not trying to make me go get a four-year degree. And that's also the message, message that parents have to hear. And so I think that's a key point that you raised. Mm -hmm. And then the, working with the school systems who are working, helping us with the students to move them into this mindset to realize that school doesn't end after the 12th grade. School continues, and it may be in very different ways. Well, one of the things that Del Valley has done with Generation Texas is our students and our GO Center and our College and Career Counselor have worked together with Generation Texas. They help create basically a video program where it could go out to the schools and schools could see and other students could see that these are other kids telling the same message. We also have what we call a GO Center and we have students just like Generation prescribes actually teaching other students how to apply to college, how to research colleges, how to look at what do I want to do. I like this kind of thing. I like to play with cars. I like to design. But I don't know what I want to do with it. But it's other kids sitting down and saying, let me walk you through it. I think I know where you need to go. Let me check it out. And if it's not, let's look at something different. I think one of the really key parts that, that we have here in Central Texas, but in other regions around the state, is getting those businesses involved and those employers involved. I was former chair of the Chamber of Commerce here in Central Texas, and I can tell you that employers need a much more highly skilled workforce than they had when we graduated or Absolutely. our parents graduated. In Absolutely. fact, I mean, it's almost impossible to get any sort of career track living wage job without some sort of post-secondary credential. It doesn't matter whether you're selling cars or whether you're working on cars or whether you're building computers or writing video games. They all need some sort of post-secondary credential, and so the employers are the ones out there with the message of, I want you to continue on. I want you to be successful because that's what I need to employ. One of the best things that E3 Alliance and Generation Texas have worked together with the businesses and the schools, it's teaching the schools also what the businesses are looking for. So if we need to improve on soft skills, if we need to improve on things that you don't necessarily think about on a day-to-day -day basis when you're thinking, I need to teach math, science, English, and social studies, it may be, I Team need to work. teach <laughs> Teamwork, timeliness, organizational skills, right. things that the businesses are seeing a deficit in, we need to make sure that we're also offering those opportunities to the kids to learn how to do that, to create projects in classes where they have to team and what that actually looks like. And then to help the students and the teachers that understand college readiness means those skills, yes. career readiness means those skills. Years ago, I was a school superintendent. Our role was to get you out of high school. Right. And then you decided whatever you wanted to do with your life. That's not the role anymore of public education. It's to prepare you to be able to leave there to make choices so that you can take whatever track you want. And that's not the way we traditionally have operated. And so, and parents don't see us in that light, didn't see us in that light. Well, they haven't gone through that system. Right. They didn't go it through a different. system where it was Correct. through 16. They went through a system where you get your diploma and then you get out and you go get work or you go, if you go to college, if that's your track, you know. But now it's totally changing. And because we're seeing about four to six years of 
this occurring and this growing and this spreading, you actually see the older kids coming back to the schools talking about, I was able to do it. You can do it too. And being able to say to their friends, to their family, to the parents of their friends, which is a huge barrier to overcome for our students, especially with so many diverse populations within our school systems. We know that we have to impact the families that don't know how to access college, to pay for college, to understand the process. It is a scary process. It's definitely something that's going to uh, be a question that, that students are going to have. I know that we are partnering with universities, we're partnering with businesses, and we're trying to basically come up with a solution um, and give kids direction as to what is the direction you need to go and how can you still achieve college. College in Texas is a lot more affordable than it is in most other states, so it doesn't necessarily eliminate the opportunity by any means, but giving them the direction of you could if you need to, do something like a very respectable Austin Community College would be a fantastic way to start out and most colleges that are four year partner with them and then align their curriculum so that the students can continue straight on into a four year degree. And that and is so, what we're doing at the coordinating board right now, that transfer scenario. So mm -hmm. because we know that the largest number of students entering post-secondary are entering through the community college system and that's because affordability. Mm -hmm. it's, it's much more costly to go straight into that four-year track but it's easier many times to access the two-year and some of our work at the coordinating board is focusing on that transfer scenario so it becomes a seamless it pipeline. It must be much more seamless yeah, than it is today. More. We're all working on that, that high school to two-year to four-year system seamless aspect of it. But you're right, Reeve, I mean we are simultaneously raising the bar, raising expectations, saying we need much higher outcomes when we're putting less resources in the system to be able to do that. And it's putting a huge strain on our schools, on our teachers, on our education leaders at all levels, early childhood, K through 12 higher education. Um, but it means we're having to work more creatively. We're having to leverage exactly. best practices that other de others develop. We don't have the bandwidth to develop them necessarily ourselves. We're having to work together across sectors and involve the business community. We're having to use other ideas and be creative, and that's a good thing. But, yeah. um, but teachers and schools are, are very strange right now.